Hi, and welcome to Old Time Knowledge. Well, I'm going to make a recipe that I love to make. I've been making this recipe for a long time now, and it is from Taste of Home magazine, 40-minute hamburger buns. You might have seen this recipe going around, but I have to tell you, I just love this so much. And you can use it not only for burger buns, but, I mean, you can just split it up into smaller sizes and make dinner rolls. And this is a perfect opportunity also for me to review an item that was sent to me by a company. They were um, asking me if I would try their product out and I was quite happy with it. It is for a set of pastry brushes and spatulas. And these are pretty cool. And so I'll be talking about these a little bit later, but stick with me and we'll get right to it. All right, so let's get started. First thing, I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of yeast to the bowl. Yes, it's a lot of yeast, but that's kind of what makes it so that it'll rise really quick. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and add in a quarter of a cup of sugar. And I'm going to add one cup plus two tablespoons of warm water. Okay, there's one cup. One, two. Can just get this mixed up a little bit. All right, now I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to start out with three cups of flour. It can use up to three and a half cups, but I would rather add the extra once I have it all mixed together to see how much I need. There's one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and add in the salt and an egg. It gets one teaspoon of salt. A third of a cup of vegetable oil. And an egg. This is quite wet, so I'm going to definitely add in another half a cup of flour. Now I'm going to turn this dough out onto this board and knead it for a few minutes until it becomes nice and smooth and elastic. I'm going to speed things up because this kneading process takes a long time. This is just basic, you know, I turn it out on the board on some flour. I'm using my dough scraper, which comes from Dollar Tree and I love it, by the way. I've had it for a few years now and it's fantastic. Um, I'm just rolling it and kneading it. Occasionally I'll pick it up and slap it against the board. I'll use the dough scraper to scrape it up. I'll add more flour as I need to. You want to be careful with adding flour to a dough like this though because it can make your end result too heavy. So you be just use as little flour as necessary. It is kind of a sticky dough um, and when it's more humid it's stickier. So I'm doing the best that I can here but Let's just watch and it'll soon get smooth and ready for me to shape into rolls. All right, so this is pretty smooth now. See, it's, it, it stretches nice and it's, it's not tearing when I do this. So it's ready for me to cut up into buns and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just get my pastry cutter. The recipe says it will make eight buns, um, but I'm going to make some of this as hamburger buns and then I'm going to make some of this as yeast rolls. One thing I want to add is 
this is not a dough that you let rise. You just go ahead and start making this into buns as soon as you're done mixing up the dough and kneading it. And as soon as it's smooth and ready to work out and shape, that's the whole point of the 40 minute hamburger bun thing. You're using a lot of yeast, so it gets it to rise really quickly and it turns out just fine. If you let it, if you let it rise, it's, it's not going to turn out like you expect. So I'm going to speed this up so you can watch me shape these and get them ready to bake. Of course, the smaller ones are going to be like dinner rolls and the larger ones will be hamburger buns. Whenever I make a whole lot of hamburger buns, we never use them all before they're kind of stale. And yes, you can freeze them, but I'd rather just make fresh bread. So anyway, this way we've got some dinner rolls ready and we've got four hamburger rolls ready, which is all that we need. So I'm just sort of, you know, getting them in my hand, pinching the bottoms underneath and sort of pressing the dough together to make a nice little ball. And I'm doing those. If you are able to cut like nice shapes, just you can do them like that, um, which is what I did there on those last few. So these hamburger buns, I'm getting them ro um, rolled out into little ball, little round shapes, but then I'm patting them out because I want them to be kind of flat. Otherwise, they're just going to be so tall and so puffy and it's going to be hard to like have them for the burgers. You'll see they're going to be really fluffy anyway. And then I'm going to do them with an egg wash with my new brushes. So we're almost to that part. And I'm just going to slow it back down here so you can see how I do this with one of these rolls. So I just pull all the, the parts around to the bottom to make it nice and smooth on top and just sort of pinch it together. And then that just makes a nice little ball and then I kind of press it out flat. And so now I've got to get an egg ready. I'm going to be making an egg wash and I'm going to be using one of those new silicone brushes in order to put a nice egg wash on all these rolls so that they'll just look really nice. All right, so for the egg wash, I have one egg. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of water. And I have picked this orange brush. The, the package of brushes comes with <clears throat> It comes with different colors, uh, red, purple, green, orange, and then it comes with two spatulas. The great thing about that is you can actually color code the brushes so that you know what you are using them for and you don't have to worry about cross contamination. So in this case, I'm just going to stick with using orange brushes for pastries. Although honestly, I don't really use brushes for um, food a whole lot except for occasionally basting like a chicken. So I'll probably just pick the red one for doing any kind of meats or poultry and then the rest will be sort of all-purpose brushes for anything but i'm just getting this mixed up really good probably i should have used a fork to mix this but this this is fine and the thing like the thing that i really liked about this as soon as i got these is i have been using um, silicone brushes for a while but they're two pieces in fact i'll show you The ones that I've been using are like this, and I'm not even going to name the brand. These are fine, but the problem is I, I'm just like, why? Why do you need to have two pieces? I don't, I'm not sure. So this is, this is fine. I like this. So while um, I'm doing this, I'm going to speed this up in a second, but I wanted to let you know that the company who makes these that sent them to me to review, they have provided a coupon code. If you want to buy this set, you'll get 20% off. So these are, they're really inexpensive. And this is such a handy thing to have, especially the color coded part. That's that and the fact that they're one piece is my favorite. So anyway, I'm just doing this egg wash here. Um, it's going to come out beautiful. They're going to be nice and brown. Sometimes when I take them out, if I'm not quite happy with how brown they are, I'll just pop them in just a little bit longer um, just to get them super brown. But anyway, these are going to be great. And I just can't wait for you to see them when they're done. You have to try this recipe, y'all. You really have to try it. All right, so I have all of the, the rolls brushed with egg wash. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. They're going to bake for about, probably about 12 to 15 minutes. And I'll bring you back. Mm 
these came out absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to let them cool a little bit and get the burgers cooked and I'll plate everything up. Alright, so here we have a delicious cheeseburger. Sorry for the abrupt transition, y'all. But I got a phone call or something and I had to stop recording. So instead I just got a couple of pictures of my son's plate just before I served it to him. This is his cheeseburger with his sour cream and onion potato chips. And it was absolutely delicious. They are all absolutely delicious. These rolls, you have got to make them. They are so good. The egg wash is gorgeous. The silicone brush has really helped with that. Um, I will say that probably the egg wash would have been a little more of all one color if I used a fork to stir it. Um, that's a better practice anyway, but I was just excited to use the new brushes. So I hope you try this and I hope you let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.